The International Olympic Committee is an international, non-profit, non-governmental organization based in Lausanne, Switzerland. Created by Pierre de Coubertin on 23 June 1894 with Demetrius Vickelis as its first president. Today its membership consists of 100 active members, 32 honorary members, and one honor member. The IOC is the supreme authority of the worldwide modern Olympic movement. The IOC organizes the modern Olympic Games and Youth Olympic Games, held in summer and winter, every four years. The first Summer Olympics organized by the IOC was held in Athens, Greece, in 1896. The first Winter Olympics was in Chamonix, France, in 1924. Until 1992, both Summer and Winter Olympics were held in the same year. After that year, however, the IOC shifted the Winter Olympics to the even years between Summer Games. To help space the planning of the two events from one another, and improve the financial balance of the IOC, which receives greater income on Olympic years. The first Summer Youth Olympics were in Singapore in 2010 and the first Winter Youth Olympics were held in Innsbruck in 2012. History the committee was established by Pierre de Coubertin in Paris on 23 June 1894. In 1915, during the First World War, the committee moved to Lausanne. In Lausanne, the committee was housed in the Casino de Montbinon, at the Monrepos Villa and in the Castle of Vidi. In 1986, the International Olympic Committee inaugurated the Maison Olympique, centralizing most of its activities in Vidi. The Olympic Museum, nearby in Auchi, was inaugurated in 1993. Mission and Role The stated mission of the International Olympic Committee is to promote Olympic throughout the world and to lead the Olympic movement. The IOC's role is to encourage and support the promotion of ethics in sport as well as education of youth through sport and to dedicate its efforts to ensuring that in sport, the spirit of fair play prevails and violence is banned. To encourage and support the organization, development and coordination of sport and sports competitions. To ensure the regular celebration of the Olympic Games. To cooperate with the competent public or private organizations and authorities in the endeavor to place sport of the service of humanity and thereby to promote peace to take action in order to strengthen the unity and to protect the independence of the Olympic movement, to act against any form of discrimination affecting the Olympic movement, to encourage and support the promotion of women in sport at all levels and in all structures with a view to implementing the principle of equality of men and women, to lead the fight against doping in sport, to encourage and support measures protecting the health of athletes, to oppose any political or commercial abuse of sport and athletes, to encourage and support the efforts of sports organizations and public authorities in order to provide social and professional future of athletes, to encourage and support the development of sport for all, to encourage and support a responsible concern for environmental issues, to promote sustainable development in sport and to require that the Olympic Games are held accordingly, to promote a positive legacy from the Olympic Games to the host cities and host countries, to encourage and support initiatives blending sport with culture and education, organization. The IOC session The IOC session is the general meeting of the members of the IOC, held once a year in which each member has one vote. It is the IOC's supreme organ and its decisions are final. Extraordinary sessions may be convened by the President or upon the written request of at least one-third of the members. Among others, the powers of the session are to adopt or amend the Olympic Charter, to elect the members of the IOC, the Honorary President and the Honorary Members, to elect the President, the Vice Presidents and all other members of the IOC Executive Board to elect the host city of the Olympic Games. The IOC Executive Board The IOC Executive Board consists of the President, four Vice Presidents, and ten other members. All members of the IOC Executive Board are elected by the session, in a secret ballot, by a majority of the votes cast. 
the IOC Executive Board assumes the general overall responsibility for the administration of the IOC and the management of its affairs. The current IOC president, Thomas Buck, was elected for an eight-year term on 10 September 2013. Buck will be eligible for re-election to one additional four-year term in 2021. Honours in addition to the Olympic medals for competitors, the IOC awards a number of other honours. The IOC President's Trophy is the highest sports award given to athletes who have excelled in their sport and had an extraordinary career and created a lasting impact on their sport. The Pierre de Coubertin Medal is awarded to athletes who demonstrate a special spirit of sportsmanship in Olympic events. The Olympic Cup is awarded to institutions or associations with a record of merit and integrity in actively developing the Olympic movement. The Olympic Order is awarded to individuals for particularly distinguished contributions to the Olympic movement, and superseded the Olympic Certificate. Museum IOC Members for most of its existence, the IOC was controlled by members who were selected by other members. Countries that had hosted the Games were allowed two members. When named, they did not become the representatives of their respective countries to the IOC, but rather the opposite, IOC members in their respective countries. For a long time, members of royalty have been members of co-option, such as Prince Albert II of Monaco, as have former athletes. In addition, King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands has served as a member since 1998. These last 10 years, the composition has evolved in order to get a better representation of the sports world. Members' seats have been allocated specifically to athletes, international federations' leaders, and National Olympic Committee's leaders. There are currently 100 members of the IOC, 33 honorary members, and one honor member. Membership The total number of IOC members may not exceed 115. Each member of the IOC is elected for a term of eight years and may be re-elected for one or several further terms. A majority of members whose memberships are not linked to any specific function or office, their total number may not exceed 70, there may be no more than one such member national of any given country. Active athletes, the total number of whom may not exceed 15, elected for eight years by their peers during the Olympic Games. Presidents or persons holding an executive or senior leadership position within IFS, associations of IFS, or other organizations recognized by the IOC, the total number of whom may not exceed 15. Presidents or persons holding an executive or senior leadership position within NOCs, or continental associations of NOCs the total number of whom may not exceed 15, there may be no more than one such member national of any given country within the IOC. Cessation of membership The membership of IOC members ceases in the following circumstances. Resignation. Any IOC member may cease their membership at any time by delivering a written resignation to the President. Non-re-election. Any IOC member ceases to be a member without further formality if they are not re-elected. Age limit. Any IOC member ceases to be a member at the end of the calendar year during which they reach the age of 80. Failure to attend sessions or take active part in IOC work for two consecutive years. Transfer of domicile or of main center of interests to a country other than the country which was theirs at the time of their election. Members elected as active athletes cease to be a member upon ceasing to be a member of the IOC Athletes Commission. Presidents and individuals holding an executive or senior leadership position within NOCs, world or continental associations of NOCs, IFs or associations of IFs or other organizations recognized by the IOC ceased to be a member upon ceasing to exercise the function they were exercising at the time of their election. Expulsion. An IOC member may be expelled by decision of the session if such member has betrayed their oath or if the session considers that such member has 
neglected or knowingly jeopardized the interests of the IOC or acted in a way which is unworthy of the IOC. International federations recognized by IOC There are currently 72 sport federations recognized by IOC. These are the 28 members of Association of Summer Olympic International Federations, the seven members of Association of International Olympic Winter Sports Federations, the 35 members of Association of IOC Recognized International Sports Federations, and two of the members of Sport Accord. Olympic Marketing In the early 1980s, the Olympics were highly dependent on revenues from a single source, its contracts with U.S. television companies for the broadcasts of the Olympic Games. Upon his election as president of the IOC in 1980, Juan Antonio Samaranch recognized this vulnerability and in consultation with Horst Dassler, a leading member of the Adidas family, the decision to launch a global marketing program for the IOC was made. Samaranch appointed Canadian IOC member Richard Pound to lead the initiative as chairman of the New Sources of Finance Commission. In 1982 the IOC drafted ISL Marketing a Swiss sports marketing company to develop a global marketing program for the Olympic movement. ISL successfully developed the program but was replaced by Meridian Management, a company partly owned by the IOC in the early 1990s. In 1989, one of the staff members at ISL Marketing, Michael Payne, moved to the IOC and became the organization's first marketing director. However ISL and subsequently Meridian continued in the established role as the IOC's sales and marketing agents until 2002. In 2002 the IOC terminated the relationship with Meridian and took its marketing program in-house under the direction of Timo Lummer, the IOC's managing director of IOC Television and Marketing Services. During his 17 years with the IOC, in collaboration with ISL Marketing and subsequently Meridian Management, Payne made major contributions to the creation of a multi-billion dollar sponsorship marketing program for the organization which, along with improvements in TV marketing and improved financial management, helped to restore the IOC's financial viability. Revenue The Olympic movement generates revenue through five major programs. The International Olympic Committee manages broadcast partnerships and the Olympic Partner Worldwide Sponsorship Program. The organizing committees for the Olympic Games manage domestic sponsorship, ticketing and licensing programs within the host country under the direction of the IOC. The Olympic movement generated a total of more than $4 billion, 2.5 billion euros in revenue during the Olympic quadrennium from 2001 to 2004. Revenue distribution The IOC distributes some of Olympic marketing revenue to organizations throughout the Olympic movement to support the staging of the Olympic Games and to promote the worldwide development of sport. The IOC retains approximately 10% of Olympic marketing revenue for the operational and administrative cost of governing the Olympic movement. The organizing committees for the Olympic Games The IOC provides the Olympic Partner Program contributions and Olympic broadcast revenue to the OCOGs to support the staging of the Olympic Games and Olympic Winter Games. Top Program Revenue to OCOGs The two OCOGs of each Olympic quadrennium generally share approximately 50% of top program revenue and value in kind contributions, with approximately 30% provided to the summer OCOG and 20% provided to the winter OCOG. Broadcast Revenue to OCOGs The IOC contributes 49% of the Olympic broadcast revenue for each Games to the OCOG. During the 2001-2004 Olympic quadrennium, the Salt Lake 2002 Organizing Committee received $443 million. 395 million euros in broadcast revenue from the IOC, and the Athens 2004 Organizing Committee received 732 million dollars, 690 million euros. 
Domestic program revenue to OCOGs. The OCOGs generate substantial revenue from the domestic marketing programs that they manage within the host country, including domestic sponsorship, ticketing and licensing. National Olympic Committees. The NOCs receive financial support for the training and development of Olympic teams, Olympic athletes and Olympic hopefuls. The IOC distributes top program revenue to each of the NOCs throughout the world. The IOC also contributes Olympic broadcast revenue to Olympic Solidarity, an IOC organization that provides financial support to NOCs with the greatest need. The continued success of the top program and Olympic broadcast agreements has enabled the IOC to provide increased support for the NOCs with each Olympic quadrennium. The IOC provided approximately $318.5 million to NOCs for the 2001-2004 quadrennium. International Olympic Sports Federations The IOC is now the largest single revenue source for the majority of IFs, with its contributions of Olympic broadcast revenue that assist the IFs in the development of their respective sports worldwide. The IOC provides financial support from Olympic broadcast revenue to the 28 IFs of Olympic summer sports and the 7 IFs of Olympic winter sports. After the completion of the Olympic Games and the Olympic Winter Games, respectively, the continually increasing value of Olympic broadcast partnership has enabled the IOC to deliver substantially increased financial support to the IFs, with each successive Games. The seven winter sports IFs shared $85.8 million, 75 million euros in Salt Lake 2002 broadcast revenue. The contribution to the 28 summer sports IFs from Athens 2004 broadcast revenue has not yet been determined, but the contribution is expected to mark a significant increase over the $190 million. 150 million euros that the IOC provided to the summer IFs following Sydney 2000. Other organizations the IOC contributes Olympic marketing revenue to the programs of various recognized international sports organizations, including the International Paralympic Committee and the World Anti-Doping Agency.